Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects then create a new composition. Rename it to Explosion Logo Reveal. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 5 seconds. Go to Composition, and create a new composition. Rename it to Logo here. Go to the toolbar and select the type tool. Then type your text. Increase the font size. Then align your text to the center. Again create a new composition. Rename it to Reflection. Go to the File menu. Then import the Reflection Map and Shockwave footage. Drag the Reflection Map to the Reflection Composition. Hit the S key to open Scale Properties. Decrease the scale to 50%. Go to Effect and Presets. And search the Effect Motion Tile. Drag and drop to the Reflection Map image. Change the Output Width and Output Height to 500. Check the mirror edges. Make sure, you are at the first frame. Then click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Go to the last frame. Then drag the little circle just like this. Select both keyframes. Right click. Keyframe assistant. Choose easy ease. Let's see the preview. Cool. Create a new composition. Rename it to Reflection Build. Drag the logo here Composition and Reflection Composition to it. Click the Toggle Switches button. Go to Track Mat. And choose Alpha Mat. Select the Reflection layer. Go to Effects and Presets. And search the Effect CC Glass. Drag and drop to the Reflection layer. Change the Bump Map to the logo here. Softness to 20. Height to 100. Displacement to minus 200. Under the Lights. Change the light intensity value to 150. Again go to effects and presets. Search the effect CC blobby lies. Drag and drop to the reflection layer. Change the blob layer to logo here. Softness to 10. And cut away to 0. Under the lights. Change the light intensity value to 150. Select both layers. Right click. Choose Pre Compose. Rename it to Logo Build. Right click on the blank space. Then New. And select the Adjustment layer. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Curve. Drag and drop to the Adjustment layer. Then change the curve to something like this. Search the Effect Photo Filter. Drag and drop to the Adjustment layer. Change the filter type. Search the effect sharpen. 
Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the sharpen amount to 20. Search the effect on sharp mask. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the radius amount to 2. Let's create a lens flare. So, go to the layer menu, then new. And create a solid layer. Rename it to center flare. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect lens flare. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Drag this little small circle to the center to change the lens position. Change the lens type to 10 mm prime. Go to effects and presets. And search the effect tint. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Search the effect tritone. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Change the midtones color to orange, or any color you like. Finally, search the effect curve. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Then change the curve to something like this. Make sure you are at the first frame. Add a keyframe to flare brightness. Change the flare brightness to 0%. Go to 15 frames forward. Then change the brightness to 100%. Go to about 2 seconds. Then change the flare brightness value back to 0%. Click the toggle switches button. Then enable the 3D option. Go to the layer menu, then new. And select the camera layer. Also, create a null object. Enable the 3D. Parent the camera layer to the null object. If you don't see the parent options, then right click here. Go to Columns and select the Parent and Link. Rename the Null Object to Camera Control. Keep the Null Object selected. Then hit the P key to open Position Properties. Add a keyframe. As you can see we can't see our logo. So, change the Solid Layer Mode from Normal to Add. Change the Z position value to 2000. Go to 15 frames forward. Change the Z position value back to 0. Disable the 3D option for the center flare layer. Cool. Create a new solid layer. Rename it to Top Flare. Then apply the same effects we applied on the center flare. By the way, don't worry if you don't understand this step. I will add the project file link in the description. Change the lens flare position to something like this. Go to the first frame. Add a keyframe on flare brightness. Change the brightness to 0%. Go to 15 frames forward. Then change the brightness value to 110%. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard. 
Click the flare brightness stopwatch to add an expression. Then type wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 3 then close parenthesis. Select the top flare layer. Then change the layer mode from normal to add. Keep the layer selected. And press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Select the flare effect. Change the position. Also, change the midtones color to orange or any color you like. Let's see what we have created so far. Looks good to me. Let me make some adjustments. Drag and drop the shockwave footage. Right click on it. Go to the time. Select time stretch. Change the stretch factor to 30. Drag the shockwave footage to 15 frames. Change the layer mode from normal to add. Finally, go to the explosion logo and reveal composition. Drag the reflection build composition to it. Let's create a shake effect. Move the time cursor to 20 frames. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect wiggle position. Drag and drop to the screen. Add a keyframe on wiggle speed. Change the value to 0. Change the wiggle amount to 20 or 30. Select the layer. Press S to open scale properties. Change the scale to 105%. Go to 3 frames forward. Change the value to 1. Again go to 3 frames forward. Change the wiggle speed value back to 0. Let's see the final output. Amazing. I am happy with the results. I hope this was helpful, and that you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.